These objects are undergoing simple harmonic motion and Year 13 A-level physics students will be required to investigate this phenomenon and use them to find a value for the acceleration due to gravity with a pendulum and a value for the spring constant. Now, none of this apparatus is terribly complicated or difficult to use, so by the time they're in Year 13, students really ought to be able to plan and carry out these practicals for themselves. If it is a bit more challenging for some students, you could provide them with a method for perhaps one of them and get them to carry that out before devising the other experiment. I did these practicals myself with my own students recently and it was really satisfying to watch them working confidently and collecting precise data. However, we did have some challenges when it came to the uncertainty analysis. Let me show you why. Let's consider the pendulum. The period of the pendulum is related to its length by the formula t equals 2 pi root L over G. So if we square both sides of the equation, we get T squared equals 4 pi squared L over G. Now if we plot T squared against L, we'd expect a nice straight line where the gradient is proportional to 1 over G. And you might expect that the uncertainty in your value of G comes from the uncertainty in this gradient. However, the data you can collect using this apparatus is so good that you get tiny error bars which you can't really plot and therefore you can't really find an error in the gradient. So what do we do? Well, this is my suggestion. We know that the gradient is equal to delta T squared over delta L. Therefore, we can approximate the uncertainty in that using the percentage uncertainty in t, which we multiply by 2 because it's delta t squared, and we add to that the percentage uncertainty in L. So that's my approach to finding an approximate value for the uncertainty in the value for g that we'd arrive at using the pendulum. I'd love to know what you think about this approach and if you've got any suggestions for improvements. I hope you found that useful. In the description below you'll find links to lots of other useful stuff like teacher's notes and worksheets and please don't forget to subscribe so you can watch the other films in the series. Okay, this doesn't feel weird at all.